You know, one of the most important components in any engine is the lowly piston ring. It's also one of the most misunderstood because it's just a little piece of metal, but this is what builds the compression in your engine. Now, obviously, in a gasoline engine and a diesel engine, your rings are a little bit different. Gasoline engine, you might get 180,000 miles out of it before you're ready for new rings. A big rig diesel like this, you might get 800,000 miles out of it. So what's going on? What's different? How does it work? That's what we're going to show you. How It Works is brought to you by WyoTech. All right, Danny, we're talking big rig diesels, your favorite. <laughs> we have three minutes to explain the form and the function of the piston rings. Let's start with the design. All right, this is a, a top compression ring. Um, there is a difference uh, in this ring than there is to other top compression rings. Okay, tell us about the shape of it. I notice it's flat on the bottom. It does. It has a flat bottom on it, and it does have a taper at the top. Okay, notice a regular gasoline piston ring is pretty much square. All right, tell me about the design of this. Why is that important? We're going to take a look at this piston over here to try to explain that just a little bit. As this, com this piston comes up on the compression stroke, we have the air coming down, forcing this ring against the, the ring land, mm -hmm. also forcing it out against the cylinder wall, which makes a heck of a seal. A great seal. Okay. Better than a regular piston ring. Yes, it will. Okay. Now, most people realize that a piston ring has a certain amount of spring to it, and when that spring is gone, time for new pistons, time for a rebuild mm -hmm. in a gasoline engine. Mm -hmm diesel engine with this keystone ring, what happens? Much better. We can lose some of that spring. It can happen. Okay. But the great thing about the keystone is, is the, the air is going to force it down and force it out whether it wants to or not. So it's, it's still going to seal. Still going to have a great seal. So how important is that to the 800,000 miles you get out of a big rig? It's awesome. I mean, even though we may get a little bit of relaxation in that spring pressure, we're still going to have great compression out of the engine. Is this one of the main reasons those engines can go so many miles? Absolutely. It has a lot to do with it. Okay. Sure now, does. I notice you have three compression rings. Are they all the same design? Yeah, they are. They're all the same keystone design. So if something would happen and we do get a little bit of relaxation here or something and we lose a little bit past it, these are going to continue uh, to make that same type of compression out against the cylinder okay. wall. Of course, the lower ring is the, the oil ring. Exactly. Okay. Now, I have noticed on the diesel piston that you have a metal sleeve in this top compression mm -hmm. ring. What's the deal with that? We're going to flip this thing over a little bit so maybe we can see it just a little bit better. Um, what this does is, is if this if this piston was completely in all aluminum, what can happen is this ring can beat this ring land out mm -hmm. just because of the pressure of it coming down. But with this steel insert, we don't get any any deterioration in there at all. It remains the same. Now, if, if by some reason you did get some deterioration, is that sleeve replaceable? No, it's not. Okay, so once it's gone, it's gone. That's Throw it, it away. Get yes. another one. That's it. All right, around 180,000 miles in a gasoline engine or around 800,000 miles in a big rig diesel. These are how it works.